Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wally Outdoor. Hook up, hook up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Listen to that. What are we up to this weekend? We are ice camping this weekend. And what do we got going on over here? Hold on, let me turn the uh, light on. We're doing some uh, steak and cheese and some brats. You see right that now? there? Nice. Ooh, that's a little too warm. Brats are pretty, getting pretty warm. So we got, uh, Rory's got his new shack here, guys. It's all set up. He's got his bunk set up here. Ready to rock. Got our, he went all out. He's got the Amazon set up here for all our crap and junk that we want to hang and put wherever something different this year too that he just picked up the jackery and this bad boy right here well it's actually mine <laughs> but anyway we got the my bunk down here it's a little lower to the ground set up ready to rock i'm gonna get out there and do some fishing so stay tuned boy so i think what, what you say we're making steak and cheese steak and cheese steak yep. and cheese and some brodies yep you still record? I got it on now, yeah. I shut it off for a minute there, but I got it on. So I got my light. This is my light bar up top there that's freaking awesome. Yep. That's uh, my little that. LED light bar that works good. And uh, yeah, got the grill going here. We're going to see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, boys. The old steak and cheese and the brat going. Or he's over there ready to rock. Mike, Cheers. you're going to do it up. I'm going to drive this right into us here, as <laughs> Joe Holland would say. <laughs> and off we go. Let's get some uh, energy for tomorrow. The next day. Well, we got the coffee going here. She's a percolating. Rory's making us uh, breakfast here. We're just about done with that, actually making it and as joe holland would say we're gonna drive this into us this morning <laughs> gonna drive it right into us here and uh i'm gonna go start drilling some holes here in a few minutes i'm excited yeah what time is it 5 10 it's about yeah somewhere in that vicinity 5 10 right now -ish. oh, oh yeah. yeah that's oh, better yeah. there's some grounds in there that's all right should be all right <laughs> Didn't burn anything for fuel. No. Quarter of it, maybe. Well, folks, it's a pretty, pretty morning. The sun's just coming up here over the trees and uh, getting the machines going, warming them up. I'll show you what camp looks like here this morning. Well, that's camp all set up here. And it's hard to believe from the shoreline over there to where, we're, where I'm standing is 63 feet of water, but she drops off pretty quick here. My plan is to head in towards shore here and run a line of traps. I might go over here toward the island over that way, guys. Because we have the machine, so I can put my trap out there and or traps, set them out there, and if I see the flag go up, I can run out to it, so. We'll see how it goes, we gotta get the wheeler going. All right, boys. So we're looking at Navionics here this morning. And I'm going, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna probably set too deep here. I'll go over here, off this point, I think. So I gotta head that away, toward the island here.
we're in about eight, 11 feet of water here. Let's try it right here. Let's punch some holes, guys. because it's shallow here so right there should be perfect she's set guys one in let's keep an eye on her I just got setting up, started here. She ain't spinning, but damn it, that happened quick. Yeah, that's good. It's super shallow here, though. Yeah, yeah but, it's all, but it's all rocks. Yeah, I mean, it could be anything. It could be perch, could be smallmouth, could be, yeah, could be salmon. salmon. Whatever it is, it looks like he dropped it. Give him a second here and then I'll check. Nice. It. We get some poppers, high flyers. He took some line, not a lot, but some. I'm afraid to move it. Straight down. Oh, my spool's off. Nothing. Probably ripped me my bait. No, it smells still there. Right. Definitely a fish, though. Yeah. These things don't go off by accident. <laughs> no. My last one up. Yeah. All right, guys, so see the sun has come up. I have had two flags this morning so far. One, I got completely stripped. The other one, the smelt was pretty beat up. So I sent that one back down there, which I'll probably freshen up here shortly. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. I got two, two just set out really deep here. Rory's got all of his set out deep. And uh, as you can tell by the beard this morning, it's a little frothy, um, but it's supposed to warm up quite a bit, so. Stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Keep an eye on these flags I have over there in the shallower water because they both popped, each one of them has, so stay tuned. I'm gonna get my sunglasses. Rory's got a flag, guys. Let's go see what he's got here. Uh, you might come back for it, let it sit for a minute. And leakers are funny, man. They'll bump it and then swim around it and then come back and take it. Yep. Yeah, he, he hit it just enough to trip it. So. 
This one on the bottom? No, it's about halfway down. Really? Yep. It's off to the side. Is it? It's that way. Maybe it's just sitting there with it. Can you see it? See how it's just off to the side? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, yep. That's so, a good sign. I'm going to pull it out and see what happens. Why don't you, uh, here, hold on. Let's do this right. Oof, I'll, uh, yeah, let me. She's a recording. Recording? Yeah, why don't you hand me the spool and strip some line as you're coming up, and then I'll... Oh, yeah, he's there. All right, strip some line off her. I'll hold she's it. sitting there with it. I'll hold it. Want a little more line there? No. Ready? I'm ready. Got him? Yep. Small. Hey. Small's okay. It's a fish. Small as it was. It's getting bigger? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm hold, I'm gonna strip you a line a little bit here so you can feeling better? No. No. It does feel like a oh, oh no. Oh no no. He's still there? Yep. Barely. S salmon maybe the way he's fighting? Oh no. White big white perch. Nice. Look There's some loins on that perch. bad boy. Oh my gosh, brother. Look at the size of that white perch. That's a big one. There's some loins on that one. Yeah. Want some, keep yeah, why not? Yeah. Look at that white perch. white perch. That is a giant right there, bro. <laughs> Holy scamole. Yeah. All right, I got back to your button, so if you, All right, thank you. I'm going to set your trap in the hole so it don't freeze. Okay. Cool, hold that bad Larry up. That's a giant. Yeah, I'll walk around so I can get him in the sun. Dude, that's a beast. Yeah, it's a good size white perch right there, bud. Sweet. Yeah, man. Nice. I'll fry, we'll fry him right up for dinner, for lunch. A little appetizer there. That's awesome. So he was suspended, huh? Yeah. Cool. Usually they're in school. I'm gonna cut the line, but I'm gonna cut the line. I got, hold on, let me, let me, uh, hold on, let me see him. Might be able to hook you up here. You can barely see it. Let me pull this out first. I'll get that. Yeah, let's see. No sense in cutting it if you don't have to. Yeah. That's a pig of a white perch. That's a beast. And China's so alive too. Okay, hooks that <laughs> way. He ate the shiner, huh? Here, pull your line up through the hole. There we go. Thank you. All right, look, dude. Look at the belly on him. I know. Him, huh? He's massive. That's a nice one. Good white perch. Hell yeah. Hi. Right there. All right, one more. Hold on. It's still smelts down there. Should try for them. Go for it. Two fillets, I'll rinse them off, put them in the, uh, rinse my hands first. Oh, sweet. Thanks. I just looked over. Thank you. The flag was not doing nothing, so I don't know. Whoa, there oh, it goes. Yeah. There yeah. It goes. And bro. Oh, 
down. It's not very big, but coming at me. It's a brown, I think. It's a brown, bro. <laughs> brown, bro. Yeah. How big do they have to be? Uh, 15. 100% square tail. Do you have a tape? I don't. I don't think he's quite 15, though. Close. Dude, that... He's hooked. He's not hooked bad. I'll let him go. Nice. That is a beauty, bro. 100% brown trout. Let me get him unhooked and back in the water there. I'm pretty sure he's 15, but I'm going to let him go either way. Oh, I want to take a quick snapshot of him. Let me try to, I'm going to try to rinse him off for a bit. Yeah. That's a brown. Yeah, stock. Look at his fins. Yeah. Brown trout, guys. Check that fish out. What a beauty. Um, reach in my pocket there. Unzip it and take a quick, quick picture. If I can dunk him one more time here. Ready? Oh, uh, it's gotta go to photo. All right. Let me get in the sun. That's a beauty. Turn it. Turn the phone the other way and take one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm gonna go. He's back in. He's ready to go, bro. I don't even have to mess with him. <laughs> awesome fish, bro. I thought it was a salmon at first. Yeah, yeah. But, but then I looked at him real because I could see the spots and the tail is square. And that's a freaking beauty, bro. Oh my god, my hands are freezing. But that was awesome. <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> Thank you for the Gatorade. Oh, yes, sir. So what do you think? We're going to rip it through the night again or what? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll follow the weather, see what's going on. I don't think it's going to be a super bad issue. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Look. We'll see what we have. If anything, that we're worried about getting wet. Yeah, we'll bring it back to you. All right. Come on, Danny. He's not here, but. Don't catch him all without me. <laughs> Little tiny piece of shiner, bro. They're eating it pretty good. Yeah, go for it. If you can get it to drill. All right, guys. So we were messing around here with. Uh, we got the white parts all cleaned up here. Should probably get that out of the video because they're bloody. Rory's drilling a hole. Don't, yeah, save that shine right there. Yep. Rory's drilling a hole and gonna, gonna see if we can't catch some more of these smell. I just caught three in a matter of a couple minutes so right now they're at the yeah open up the the rod locker and look for the the healy jig oh, i just had one on the little healy jig with the chain on it I did i have a bite i don't know if that was the wind no that's a fish i think it's is, is it possible this thing's just Whirling way too much and they're coming off on the way up. It's possible, but don't want the shiner. About to put just a little bit of water in here. There's one. Got him. Coming up from the deep. Ooh, this is a little better one. It feels like it anyway. He's fighting a little harder than the other ones did. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one, yeah.
Ah, lost my bait. Yeah, see how much I got on? Just a, just a, uh, yeah. you just want to tantalize them. Yes, sir. Got your ass that time, I think. Yeah, I got him. Oh, I got him. He's coming up. It's a small one, though, I think. See how my line's going to the other side of the hole? Yeah. That's how I know yeah. it. That's how you know you got him. Yeah, good side one. Dude. It's all down there, huh? <laughs> it's covered with smell down there right now. Fresh bait. Oh, that's a good one. That's a better one for sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's twirling, burling. Oh, bumpaged. Missed him. There you go. Happy birthday, Mark. That's a bait, too. It stays like this. We're going to have a good little smelt feed. Look at this. They're bumping it. How about I do that again because I didn't get any of it. All right, guys, so I got... <laughs> oh, you weren't recording? <laughs> I, I wasn't recording, and Roy's laughing at me, but hey, I got the white perch fillets in here and the smelt that uh, we caught all cleaned up. I didn't show that, the cleaning part on there, because sometimes YouTube can be funny with that stuff. But anyway, I can do a separate video on that if you guys are interested. Got a hot grease going right here, and uh, we're going to be throwing these bad boys in the, in the hot grease here in just a second for... Uh, our lunch here a little catch clean and cook action so stay tuned all right and the hot grease he's putting them in there guys it is hot grease, oh yeah smelterinos and white perch fillets those white perch fillets look awesome yeah they're ready to be flipped already the grease is hot did you get all the fish in there yeah cool nice yeah, those white perch fillets won't take too long. You are in for a treat, my friend. Yeah, I'm excited. Never had smelt before. Smelt is awesome. And we decided to cook outside instead of inside the shack with the hot grease, which is a lot safer and or we're not stinking up the shack real bad, so. Guess we need a couple of plates there, huh? Ooh, there we go. That's muddy, dude. Oh, yeah. What I normally do, if you if you want to, you probably don't, I don't know, we're gonna cook on this again tonight, probably, right? We will cook on it tonight, You yeah. put paper towels down. Oh, yeah. Or paper, paper towel on one of the plates. Yeah. And then put the fish on there once it's cooked. White perch is done. And we'll let them just go a couple more minutes. They're almost there, though. They're pretty brown, but not quite. The smelties, you like them, they, you'll see what I mean when you have one, because uh, the fins get, like, real crispy, and yeah. you don't want them burned, for sure, but a couple more minutes. They're almost there. Did you bring any shaker salt? I did not. That's all right. The, the seasoning in it is probably pretty good. Yeah, I did. Those okay. fillets look awesome, though. I can't wait to try them. Yeah, that's probably going to be good, too, though. Yeah. So he got, Rory grabbed some spicy garlic sauce, buffalo with a kick of garlic. So we're going to try this stuff out here. This is, uh, what's the name of this place? That's Buffalo, buffalo Wild. Wild Wings. Yeah. So we're going to try this out and see how it is, guys. We're going to drive, drive these smelt and uh, the white parts right into us. <laughs> All right, guys. So I was on Facebook Live, but here I'm going to show you. Roy's eating up his smelt. Oh, I'm already out of smelt. Oh, he's already out of smelt, but... I'll dig it into the white perch. The white perch and smelt, and I got my plate going here. Pretty good stuff with a little bit of that buffalo sauce. I had a couple without it, but it's, the stuff is really good. Yeah. So... Oh, well, we're going to see if we can catch some Lakers now tonight. Yep. Before it gets dark, see what happens. Stay tuned. One eternity later. What is going on, guys? Hopefully you can see me here, all right, in the shack. Uh, 
as you can see it's night two and we are just finishing up this is gonna be it this will be the last night tonight uh, we just finished uh, a nice steak and potato dinner thanks to Rory over there yeah we had uh, what was it? Uh, not prime rib uh, ribeye, right? Ribeye rib steaks, rib steaks, a couple of ribeyes and a couple of potatoes, and they were excellent. I have to thank him very much for picking those up. Yeah, but and uh, yeah, it was a great, great time. Like this was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go out and say like this is my favorite ice fishing trip slash couple of days I had all season. Yeah, it was oh, yeah. really, really cool. Yeah, totally different experience camping on the ice like this. Um, definitely not for the faint of heart you have to have the right gear and you learn that the hard way right yeah well the well, last time when so the first time i did this uh was with danny which you all know goldfish man the goldfish uh, man himself goldfish, the goldfish man i'll put a little um, i'll put a little video or picture or something of him in there well he brought this box okay but i brought three bags of goldfish <laughs> okay that's probably why i caught a 17 and a half inch trout <laughs> Yeah, so we did this a couple weeks ago, and we did not have an insulated tent. We used propane heat, and we were super cold yeah. all weekend. Freezing. Freezing. Right. Uh, so the diesel heater was dry heat. It was phenomenal all weekend. I mean, it was, like, so warm that we had to put a tarp down on everything we have. So at some point, I'm sure he will... Do some type of I will. whatever on that. I will. We'll get back to you on that. But just a quick description of as to how it works. It runs off of a 12 volt battery pack slash and you 12 volt source. It doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be a generator. It doesn't have to be a 12 volt generator. Right. It can be any 12 volt accessory. Specifically, I've heard deep cycle. If you as long as you can run a deep cycle to a 12 volt, it's It'll run for days and days and days and days. And you guys can you guys can definitely look up the the Chinese diesel heaters. There's a million YouTube videos on those. But um, as far as our own experience, it's a it's a freaking it, it has, game changer. It has worked. Total game changer. Yep. So first, so this is the first. If this YouTube video comes out before I see my first YouTube video on a Chinese diesel heater, this is the first video I've seen where people have used this for a weekend on the ice yeah for a full weekend on the full ice full weekend on the ice yeah yep. so that's that has, that's also something that's unique because we've I've actually see, I've seen one guy but I don't I think it was a weekend I think it was just one night he did it and it was like in a clamp flip over type of thing that yeah. he had set up but it, yeah, was, it was different yeah I, I don't know exactly how, oh, how yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. You might have had yeah. a jackery and stuff too, but yep. yeah. So as far as like two people doing it together in a in a setup like this, I think we are definitely that I could tell the first people on YouTube probably that are going to do this. Um, I'm sure this is going to be a thing to come in the future. You'll see more of this stuff not only from us, but other people are going to catch on to this too. So yeah, check it out. Do some research. Check it out. It's way better than propane. It's dry. That's the biggest thing. There's no it's not damp in here and the shack itself doesn't drip on you and or no carbon monoxide yeah no carbon Zero. monoxide you don't have to worry about carbon monoxide although we did still bring the carbon monoxide detector as you see there yep. just because um we are running propane in here for cooking stuff like that too so but yeah no i mean this is pretty much a wrap you guys saw what we caught for fish we had a good time with the smelt um that kept us busy today because the fishing wasn't the, the greatest overall Although we did at least catch a couple of fish. Okay. Yeah, white perch and a brown trout. Yep. yep, yep. And the white perch tasted awesome. It did. Yeah, it was great. So. Great little lunch and a great little trip. And I wish this year wasn't ending already. But I've been very fortunate. As I said, I've, I've been fishing since Christmas Eve. I've been on the ice since Christmas Eve. Longest ice fishing period I've ever had in my life. And I went out multiple times. So... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode here. Um, I'm going to do more of this stuff, hopefully, with Rory here in the future. And we'll be adding some some characters, some people in the in the future with us, too, that want to get oh, yeah. up and do this. Just wait until we get <laughs> everything together. Just wait. Yeah. It is going to be, like, phenomenal. We're going to have base camp. We're going to have the cafeteria. We're going <laughs> to have even the porter john. Right? So. We'll have everything. So, 
yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed please think about doing so hit that notification bell so you can catch my future episodes and for now we'll catch you on the next one on the next one guys well i'm heading down the lake so i can catch some bass calling in to work and they can kiss my ha <laughs> i don't even care what they say to me yeah i'm packing up the truck and i'll be there by three lord knows this feeling how it gets to me yes i'm packing up my truck and i'll be there by three come on i don't even care if i catch a bluegill just something <laughs>